Hi, my name is Matthias. I'm the product manager here at Elation and Obsidian Control Systems. I'm going to give you a quick run through of our Netron distribution system. So here you see a nice setup of all the different products we offer. Built this like uh, multiple rack mount units. You have the EN12, which is a rack mount streaming ACN and ARPNET node. 12 in or outputs, multiple user presets. You have uh, queues that you can store in here. Actually, it supports up to 99 uh, queues that you can run, crossfades, and even hold times. You can remote control these. There's contact closures on them. All the nodes are self-contained with power supplies. They also work with uh, power over Ethernet. And they have a network switch built into the back, which makes it really easy for daisy chaining. They come in different variations. It's an identical product, just that you have RJ45 outputs here. You can go in directly with CAT5 cables or also with adapters if you show up with like a micro, um, a three, three pin, you can uh, adapt it here. EN4 below that is mounted into um, a rack together with the RDM6XL. So this is actually the same product, just with four ports. And this is actually the same one I have over here. So you have power in and through, daisy chaining of um, the Ethernet signal, which is great, A, to build racks, but it also is very nice to just dock in a laptop uh, for a remote configuration, for example. And then here's the front of it. Easy for truss mounting as well. So you can see here we show it with uh, one of our clamps on here. So very flexible product. We also offer some wall mount brackets for this. So the same product can be used truss mount, wall mount, rack mount, and DIN rail as well. In the same form factor here, half rack is the RDM 6XL. Very straightforward RDM splitter, DMX in, six outputs, and a small RDM filter. And the same exists in CAT5 here with the RDM 645. A very unique product is the RDM 10. This is a 10-port RDM splitter with two sources. So you can merge signals together. You can assign the A and B ports any way you like on the front. It also supports an internal, um, it has an internal uh, node for two universes. So you can put ArtNet and streaming ACN in it, convert it, and make this part of this. So you can merge different sources, different protocols, uh, all within the unit. All of these feature a nice OLED display, but they're also all configurable through a customized web interface. So you can com communicate with the device over a web browser, simply type in the IP address, and you have a full configuration page. In the same family as the EP2, I'm just gonna unplug this guy here real quick. It's installed in the wall here. So this goes into a 50 millimeter uh, wall mounts, this can be mounted on the wall and it also can be truss mounted. So it has the same easy mounting options. So you could position it like this, it could go on a truss. So in general we try to make all these products very flexible so one product can be used in, in many different styles and applications. And all the products are PoE supported. So especially on something like this, you simply come up with your network cable plug it in, it powers the device, and you can you have your signal and power uh, together. Uh, recently, we also reintroduced some simpler DMX splitters in 3-pin and 5-pin here, and it's a very basic 2-input, 10-output, and you just simply have an assignment switch and can configure this quickly. Um, if you need three ports of one, seven of the other, it's just very straightforward uh, to install this. Another thing that we're showing here at the show on the computer is uh, a new configuration and discovery software. So we have a web interface that you normally can communicate with the product. And we're adding here what we call Clue, CLU is our central utility, which allows you to find devices on the network. It'll show all of the devices and then allow you, for instance, to send and identify which then makes this device blink and it shows you in a large rig, hey, I'm talking to this EP2 up there. I can configure it to the settings, the ports I need, and then take it back out. That's going to be just a free app that we're going to distribute to help you um, navigate through like larger systems and set them up. So yeah, that's a Netron station here. Lots of products. Once you know one, they actually kind of all work the same way. 
it's just pretty simple to set up. And yeah, that's all I can tell you about this. So it's Matthias at Obsidian. Thank you so much.